I'm Michael Braungart. I'm a chemist and a chemical engineer. I'm basically, like Madonna would say, the material boy of the architects and the building industry. I think it, it's not really the highest benefit of a city to be circular. It's about a city which, where people enjoy life and a city which supports the other species as well and a city which can nurture people in all different senses. But mostly it is about how to respect and celebrate the countryside, the farmers, the soil around the city that matters more than just uh, taking care of the city itself. You need people who enjoy life and are not driven by guilt, by, but by beauty, by innovation, by holistic quality. Oh, first of all, uh, designers need to have more self-esteem. Right now, they always uh, try to get recognition instead of just having an understanding of holistic quality. Understanding that in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle world, the designers are the most important uh, group of people because if if you don't design things from the beginning differently, there is no way actually that you can educate people to handle and to compensate the mistakes which have been made by design. And my favorite thing right now is to just to invite young people to reinvent everything what you see because the stuff is amazingly primitive. Today it's a washing machine, next time it's a carpet, the next time it's a car component. So it's a technosphere and a biosphere. Circular is limiting innovation because you're stuck with the same stuff. Do you want to do the same Herman Miller chair for the next 5,000 years because you have to make the stuff circular? No, it's a different mindset and it's limiting us right now. I can tell you the Brighton University are the highlight of the whole show here because the Bauhaus was not coming out of Berlin, no, it was out of Dessau and out of Ulm and Weimar and the same thing. It will be Brighton, it will be Nottingham, universities who really are hungry to make a change and to make a difference.